What's up, y'all? We've had some people ask some questions about what we put in our whitetail pack when we're going out for a day of hunting. So what I wanted to do today is kind of do a pack dump here on my hunting pack for some type of a whitetail trip. It doesn't really mean out of state or even public land, but just a general idea of what we keep in our hunting pack. So first of all, before we get to the pack, I wouldn't be wearing these clothes to go in, so I wanted to show you maybe a little bit of what I have on. I usually always wear leggings, some pants, a hat, and a base layer on top. And I'll add to that stuff as we go. And then, of course, I always carry my binoculars on my chest. Okay, now to the pack. I kind of organize things in order of importance, kinda. If you know me, I'm not really an organized kind of person, so especially after a couple hunting trips, this stuff just goes everywhere, right? But I do my best to at least start out the season with a pretty organized pack, and it usually stays somewhat that way. So on the front, I've got kind of four pouches on the pack here. I've got kind of an open kangaroo pouch, two big zippers and a little zipper. We'll start out with the big front zipper here. Uh, in here, I've got my lineman's belt. I don't like to carry, I don't like to wear this thing in because it kind of clanks around. So I actually like to keep it in my pack until I get where I'm going. I always try to carry a ratchet strap. And let me preface this by saying, this is not the weight conscious pack. If I'm going in like two miles or something, I'll kind of probably dump a few of these things out to save some weight. But just in my possibles, type thing this is what's going to be in there so ratchet strap um this is a package of deer scents check and make sure they're legal in your state uh some hand warmers and a little bit of paracord for tying branches down or tying your pack to your tree or what have you and yeah that's all that's in the front little pouch there now we'll go to my small zipper this is where i keep a lot of food and a lot of personal stuff so I've got a roll of toilet paper in there. Uh, it's worth like $30 now if it's uh, Corona time. Uh, I've got a little bit of uh, uh, baby wipes sealed up in a pack. Um, and then I keep a foldable cup in here and a little bit of coffee. Uh, it's that Starbucks Via Instant Coffee. It's pretty tasty. Just in case I'm there and it ends up being an all-day sit and I need a little extra energy. There's a granola bar, a first aid kit, Nutty bars, which are kind of the key to a successful hunt. Um, what else? A emergency rain poncho. Uh, oh, I got a little water filtration system in here for the same purpose of just maybe. Uh, some flagging tape. Deep pack. Let's see here. Oh, these are good ones. Um, screw in steps. So not also not legal in every state on public land. Private land pretty much everywhere. I'm pretty sure you can use these, but they're fairly lightweight for what they get you. I mean, it is not a light thing, but it's metal, but uh, they get you a couple feet in a tree if you need to, or to hang a trail camera or what have you. You usually carry a couple of these in there as well. Um, and then in here, this is my skinning knife, which is not like my EDC or anything, but this is what I use when I actually do kill something. I get that guy out and sharpen him up and uh, clean the deer with that. All right, that's everything in the smaller zipper pouch. Let's go to the tiny zipper pouch. Headlamp. This is where stuff that I'm going to need like on a daily basis goes, okay? So, headlamp right there. Um, SD cards. This is an SD card holder. So I can have cards for a real camera or trail cameras, which I usually always am trying to check when we go in and out of the woods. And a knife sharpener. And I think that's about it for that one. Uh, before we get into the big pack, let's look at these little side pouches. So this is the stuff that's going to be on my hip. Um, and this one I've got milkweed tassels for testing the wind. As you can see, there's no wind. It's hot today out here. Uh, those and then a grunt call. And then on this side, I've got... A range finder. This is the Vortex Ranger 1000. When I get to the stand, I'll end up taking this thing and usually putting it on something like this. But it stays in here on the way in. All right, so to the big pouch. We might have promised y'all a pack dump, but it's much more of a pack unpacking. Uh, water bottle, most easily accessible thing in my pack because I'm constantly trying to drink. Of course, I'll keep it fuller whenever. We're going hunting. Uh, the first layer I'm going to put on when we get to the stand is going to be like my mid layer. This is a merino layer. Keeps you pretty warm. Um, 
This is a heavy layer, this is a jacket, this will kind of be an outer. Got a bank robber mask here for everyone to see. You kind of look like a Yeti when you put this on too, uh, but it keeps you warm in a time of cold. Um, I always keep an extra pair of socks because a lot of times you'll go in even on a chilly, chilly morning and your feet will sweat and that's the best way to get cold. So a lot of times I'll go in there and change my socks once I get to the stand. Pair of gloves, I don't wear those that often, just in case. Um, this is a Frog Tog waterproof. I know they sell expensive waterproof jackets, but honestly, you can't spend a better 20 bucks than on that. Um, pair of sweatpants, just in case it gets real cold. Your bottoms are kind of the hardest thing to adjust temperature on, so um, I don't usually change too much what I have on the bottom until it just gets real cold, and then I kind of keep those in there for a, a cold day. Um, and then if weight allows, I like to carry a trail camera full of batteries in just in case, you know, maybe I'm scouting my way in or I find a place that's gonna be really essential to hang a trail camera on, I can put one of these in a tree while I'm in there hunting. Um, that's it for the main part of the big pouch. There's also this back pocket in here that thinks for a hydration bladder normally. I don't like those, so I don't use them. Uh, but instead, this is where I keep kind of a lot of my public land stuff, uh, like Blaze Orange. There's the Blaze Orange jacket, or I'm sorry, vest a blaze hat a blaze toboggan um, and then this may or may not be legal where you're at Just check your rigs but this is a new addition for me this year these are actually pruning snips and uh, I found these are super handy for when you get up in a tree stand say you just hung your stand and instead of like making that loud noise with the saw it's super quiet super speedy and super effective so that's all that you're gonna see in the pack, really. There's some uh, trash and dust falling out of there because I ain't cleaned it since last season. Uh, what you will notice is when you see me go hunt, um, I'll have all this junk in there. Can you believe all that went in my pack? Oh my goodness. Uh, but I'll have all that inside my pack and then you'll see me usually strap a tree stand and some climbing sticks onto my pack on the outside on some of these buckles. It's real nice. This is a Sitka Flash 20, really nice all around pack uh, to use for whitetail and elk. Um, so yeah, that's what's in my whitetail hunting pack. If you have suggestions or changes that you'd make, leave them down there in the comments and uh, let us know, you know, if we're dumb for carrying all this weight or if you're kind of the same way we are in our pack rats. So I hope that helps you out guys. And uh, yeah, good luck this season. Remember, this is your element, living it.